Stop that. No. Die. Stop. No. No. Fuck you and fuck your references. Magnus, he'll destroy the entire palace. I shall help you, man cat of phallus. Excellent. All right, go and try to apprehend him while I call for support. No. What, what the? No, don't come back. I am greater than any armored furball. They can't even ride. This is just getting worse and worse. Ay, 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 ay. Hello to you, little kitten. Got some trouble with your date? No, congratulations on paying a fine lot This will be the first and last time I ever say this, but thank the Emperor you're here! Don't you put this on me, sunshine. My lord! Are you back? I am sorry, but the Emperor of Mankind is not available at this time. Please try again later. <laughs> so, you need us to beat up this humongous chunk of demon meat, do you? No, I just need you to defeat Magnus. Oh, you're just longing for our help, aren't you? Yes, first and foremost, you wanted you need it. Yes, yes, just help me already. If you allow all three of us to replace you as caretakers, then yes. What? Oh, yes. You heard me. We are lusting to serve our emperor. Allow us to school. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think you know there's a part where everyone is going to fucking die because a giant demon is rampaging through the Imperial Palace. Yeah, this is a great opportunity to only act out of your own fucking bargains and shit. Uh, yeah, you know what? How about you don't help us and we all, we're all dead? Yeah, that's, that's great. Okay, you know, you're also being massive narcissistic dickheads about all of this shit and I wanna fuck it, fuck it, just run into the demon right now! Just jump into it! Fucking die! Right, fine! Oh, <laughs> no. Very well, my brothers. Let us show this creature how one truly goes down. <laughs> the wolves send nude men after me! <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? They went fast against that creature. I need to come up with some other solution and quick. Wait, what should I do? What the? Oh, what are you doing? I am fortifying this position. Why? The best offense is a good defense. Oh, the terror safe. That's not even how it goes. Shit, shit, shit. Um, okay, there is only one option left. in this realm. Kaldor Drago! I knew you would come! You look like a star fruit! Please, help me apprehend this demon Primarch! You have done it before and you could surely do it again! Just please be careful of this- I have already defeated him! What? Uh, where did you- A wizard never reveals his secrets! I'm so confused! I must go. My planet needs me...
I suspect he was high on narcotics. Well... That's... that, I guess. Huh. Now, Kitten. I do believe our agreement is still in full effect. We provided aid to you in this battle for our bargain. So now we are the caretakers. Yeah, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> Goosebumps are protruding like a red nipple all across my body at the sound of those words. I guess I'll just go and guard the Imperial Palace or something. Yes, tip tap your way out of here and purr somewhere else. Meanwhile. We should totally decide who gets to go first. I really want to prepare my special grease for this. So I'll go after you two. Oh, I'd like to be first in, first out, if you wouldn't mind. I'll just, I'll just sandwich myself between you two then, okay? <sighs> Alright, I am back. What did I miss? Oh, greetings, my glorious overlord. We're just sorting out the daily schedule. Which of us will get to visit you when? That sort of trivial thing. I'll be coming around on Thursdays! I never called for any lap dancers. What the fuck are you doing here? And why do you still not have your f fucking armor on? Well, my lord. You see, we are your new caretakers. What? Oh, yes, I know! It is going to be absolutely fabulous! We'll stay up late, play truth or dare, watch scary hollow bits, and eat the most delicious pasta ever! You won't even think it's real! Or, oh, well, it technically isn't. It's actually just foam. But it's easy on the figure, you know? Is this a fever dream? Would you like me to get a thermometer? I do not want a fucking thermometer, Ogle. Go away. No. Where in the flying fucking fairs did my caretaker go? Kitten! Oh, he's going to do our job now. We switched post because he, uh, no. He thinks the caretaker job isn't gratifying enough. Y yes, that's right. He says he would much rather guard the palace than continue to be the caretaker. What a foolish little feline he is, truly. Really? Oh. Well, my glorious overlord, I'll be coming around first thing in the morning to prepare for your cartilage cleansings. I just know it will be a most welcome and refreshing sensation when compared to being handled by a kitten every morning. I'll bring my best hygiene articles as well. Wouldn't want your fragrance failing to meet up to your godly standards, now would we? Please no. See you around! <laughs> You forgot to sterilize your custodians, father. I am sick of your shit, Rogel. They did have a point, though, father. You smell as bad as Mortarian's personal toilet chambers. It is like you are shooting my open wounds with a salt cannon, you fucking asshole. Can you not tell by the depressing music that I am sad? Ugh. What happened? Greetings, traitor. Rogel Dawn? Is that you? Yes, it is I. Rogel Magnus, please get him away from me. My collarbones are about to pop in exasperation. So it was here you've been hiding. Do you know he was alive? Well, yes. Didn't you? I have not really been keeping track of his psychic presence, honestly. The only Rogel-related thoughts I have been having is how nice it would be if he could build some kind of wall barring all the stupid shit that is going on in the galaxy from entering my comfort zone. Fecal matter does not have mental capacity. You do not require fortifications against it. For fuck's sake, Rogel. Well, you seem to be to the point as ever. What brought you here? I wanted to be here in preparation for the end times. The end times, you say? It is the time when things come to an end, such as chaos. Chaos doesn't end, Dawn. Chaos is eternal. I disagree. When all things die, the stars grow cold and distant. When the husk of life finally rots away, what food source will your precious chaos have? Nothing. I am going with Rogel on this one. Uh... I'm not getting into this argument. Anyway, where's whatever his name custard banana guy? He 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 left. Sob. Left? Why would he do that? He traded positions with the three strip verific wonders because he felt his job was not gratifying enough. Sob. 
Now, well, that just doesn't sound true at all. I do not know. Maybe it is. Either way, I am destined to add eternity in the purgatory. That is their presence until he comes back. Sam. Don't worry, father. I will go talk to him. I'm sure there's more to this. As long as you refrain from using your infernal powers to do so. Last time you tried helping me, you screwed up beyond all repair. Do you know, just as a reminder. Uh, I'll just... go. Have a good one. Can I still sit in your lap, father? Go and build a treehouse, you fucking stalker. I am the best treehouse architect in the galaxy. So I accept this challenge. Surf, bring me my tools and 12,000 laborers. Shall you bring us the toasters we were promised? No. Sob. Do you know who I am? I'm sorry, no. <laughs> Good. There you are! Oh, it's you. Hi. I'm here to question your sudden evacuation of the throne room. Hello! Do you know who I am? Uh, no. <laughs> Good. Uh, actually, let us go to my quarters. Come. Soon I shall become the new emperor! <laughs> So, I was told those other companions were to become the new caretakers, correct? <sighs> yes. When you went on your rampage. What rampage? Uh, sorry, no, I mean... When I went to... get cabbage I, uh... Well, stuff happened and I was forced to trade positions with the three other relevant companions. Now I am relegated to guarding the palace when I'm not doing high lord things. Which is... never. Oh. So it wasn't your choice to do it. You were pressured by a bunch of unclad men into changing position. I see. First off, stop it. And second off, yes, that is right. I can only get my position back if the Emperor were to tell them off. Has he said anything about that, actually? Ye no, he hasn't. Actually, he said he was quite relieved. <laughs> what? Yes, he said he was pretty happy about this change and that he does not want you back, basically. It was actually quite mean-spirited, even for him. Uh, oh... That's... Oh... I'm sorry, my friend, he's like that sometimes. Neglectful, taking out his frustration on his children and whatnot. I mean, seriously, you must have been the one to take the most punishment from him, what with your position. You are a very loyal subject, I will give you that. I have served him for millennia. Done everything I can for him. I even spoke of the Tao for his sake. <laughs> oh, there, there. I know how you feel. Betrayed, lonely, full of despair. Don't know what to do, don't know where to go. You just wanted to be helpful, but nope. Punished, ignored, all good deeds done for naught. You can't even serve him a damn sandwich without being reprimanded. Uh, I feel so pathetic. Oh, don't worry. You know, there's always something you could do to perhaps ease the pain. Well, well have you ever considered serving someone else? Leaving his shining buttocks 
Spare to the orc's lust for Thomas. What are you doing? Hello, my pus drenched brother. I am just doing Lucius a favor and recording myself reading this story he sent me. Why would that slanty garbage want you to do that? He wanted me to read it because my sensuous voice is soothing to his cerebrum stuffed ear canals. Your voice is as luscious as a fried goat, my lord. Truly blessed by our own holy grandfather. My vocal pipes have been groomed of all its creamy phlegm by the bulbous throat maggots living in my tonsils. So every viscous orifice secretes the pure joy of the Plague Lord. Speaking of grooming, what Master Abaddon has sent to you, my lord? Abaddon, you say? My, 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 it must be that time of year. Abaddon sure is a feisty chunk of mucus stuck in the Imperium snores to begin a crusade so soon after the other. What you gonna do about the cementation, my lord? Ho, ho, ho. Of course, the moist card of Nurgle must flow and squirt for the defenses of Cadia once again. <laughs> By the way, do you know what a clitoris is? No, oh my lord. Not me either, but it sounds disgusting! Mm. 
Yeah. Oh man, I almost didn't see that coming. <laughs>